Protesters have entered the president's official residence after thousands of people joined demonstrations in the capital, with police firing tear gas at the crowd. The economic crisis has led to a heavy shortage of essentials like fuel, cooking gas and medicines. Pictures have also emerged today showing protesters bathing in the swimming pool of the presidential palace. The heart of government, Sri Lanka's presidential secretariat, was surrounded by thousands of protesters who then stormed the building. From the morning, clashes between protesters and security forces have taken place across the capital city, Colombo. Undeterred by tear gas, police firing in the air and water cannons, protesters gathered to march on the president's house to force him out of office. In the clashes, many are reported to be injured. Their patience was wearing thin, even with the military. 
they broke down the multi-layer protective cordons and removed all barriers from their path for the final push. Security forces were overwhelmed by the sheer numbers and determination as they stormed the president's house. Some carrying the nation's flag, they walked through the gardens and many rooms and corridors of the building, warning their president to go. While a few jumped in the swimming pool to cool off in the most secure address in the country. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa had earlier been evacuated to an undisclosed location. Temple Tree, the official residence of Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, was also stormed by protesters. While his private home has been set alight, the anger against leaders is palpable. After an emergency meeting, the Prime Minister has agreed to step down for an all-party government to be formed. The island's 22 million citizens are facing the worst ever economic crisis, which has triggered shortages of food, medicine and fuel. The deep-rooted economic problems have remained unaddressed for decades, and the Rajapaksa government's mismanaged economic policies has left the country virtually bankrupt. The government is now in talks for a $3 billion bailout with the International Monetary Fund. But for the moment, it's ordinary Sri Lankans who will have to bear the brunt of the worst man-made disaster the country is facing.